www.kudo.de. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Virtual Reality. Today, I will show you a comparison between the 5K OLED and the 8K and 5K Plus. So, as you know, I was on the CES 2019 in Las Vegas and there I could shoot some screenshots through the lens of the Pimax 5K OLED. And now I'm at home and I can compare it to the 5K Plus and 8K. So I hope I can help you with your decision a little bit more with these screenshots. That would be great. My name is Voodoo.de and I'm playing for you the newest and best VR games and I'm testing for you the newest and best VR and AR hardware. So let's check out, check out the comparison and let's go. Okay guys, check this out. This is a scene from onboard. I tried to take a picture of a wheel of, the, of this car here, of this Jeep. And um, as you can see, this is the Pimax 5K Plus. So everything seems to be fine, not much screen door effect. In the middle you can see the 8K. There is even a little less screen door effect. And, but check this on the right side. This is the OLED version. And as you can see, there are many, many single dots. And this is a screen door effect that is much worse than, by, than of the uh, 5K plus and 8K. So, if you hate screen door effect, you really have to notice that. This is a normal scene. It's not very dark, it's not very bright, not much red colors. Red colors has the biggest problem. We will see this later. This is just a normal picture. And even here, you can see the screen door effect very much. Okay, guys, and here is something what I already noticed when I was at the CES. At red colors, so when you when there's something red or the environment is red or uh, red letters, then the screen door effect is very bad, and you can see it in this case. Here we have the Pimax 5K, so red areas are pretty good. Uh, in the middle is the Pimax 5K; it's pretty the same. The problem is I I filmed everything through uh, through my smartphone through the lenses, so there is really no big difference between the 5K or the 8K. Also, you see something here. But look at the third picture. This is the OLED version of the Pimax 5K. And there you see the, the, all the red dots. And this is, <laughs> this is very bad. So normally, I, I don't care much about screen door effect because I'm a fan of big field of view. So screen door effect doesn't bother me. Um, very much, but in this case, I instantly noticed it when I uh, ch when I checked out the 5K OLED. So if you really hate OS, uh, um, sorry, um, screen door effect, check out this picture here. There is a huge difference between the OLED and the 5K and 8K. You can see this in this picture. Very very good. And this is the black values, guys. This is a huge advantage of the Pimax 5K OLED. So, as you can see, this is the 5K Plus. I, all three scenes are from Beat, Beat Saber in a dark scene. So, so this, what you see here, should be dark black. So, this is not black, it's uh, like gray or something bright gray and also in the middle on the Pimax 8K this is not black. So this is a very huge disadvantage of the LCD of the Pimax 5K Plus and 8K. So look at the third picture. This is the Pimax 5K OLED and as you can see this is black as it has to be. There is no bright uh, gray or something. It is black. And this is a huge advantage of the Pimax 5K OLED. So, now you've seen everything. You've seen the advantage and the disadvantage of the OLED version of the Pimax 5K. Okay guys, this was my little comparison of the Pimax 5K OLED between the 
5K plus and the 8K. So, as I already mentioned on the CES in my short video, I would say that if you really hate screen door effect, if you really can't stand this, don't buy the OLED version of the Pimax 5K. You will not like it as you hopefully saw it on the screenshots I made. But if you want to play games like Elite Dangerous that are really dark or paranormal activity, horror games and stuff, you should go for the Pimax 5K OLED because it's so much more immersion if everything is deep black. It's a huge advantage. So yeah, I would make the decision depending on what you are playing on the headset. Of course, everybody of us would like a black values from the 5K OLED together with the screen door effect of the 8K. But this is not possible for now, guys. It is not possible. We have to wait. I don't know how long it will be when the perfect headset is out. But not now. There is no perfect headset. So I hope I could make your decision a little bit easier with this this, this comparison. I, I really hope it. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me so that I can do more videos in English and have a bigger studio, then do this via Patreon. One buck per month would be awesome. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de